one of these in person. And here. can only imagine, and I've only seen them ever going about five in the yard. I'm guessing based on the shape of the track, that's where it's at. So it looks like since last time I was here, they shuffled some of these storage tankers. It's been a few weeks. Most of them used to sit over here, with the majority of the string being about parallel with the loco right now, and then some sitting here, so they've definitely get some focus here. They've definitely done some shuffling haven't been out much lately today's about 70 degrees it's March 11th again just out here on my lunch break let's see if they blow the horn for me
here too. I think rocks and rolls. Not so bad on this track though. So I believe what's right below me with the cut of cars is their main to the right is track one. What they're on is track two. I believe. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to go try and catch them coming out the head end. Again, just out here on my lunch break. I don't know why I'm obsessed with this little short line. It's highly, to me, it's highly interesting because it's so uninteresting. I don't know. Just out here on the lunch break again. It's two miles from work. Wow. All right, hang on. Crew's always friendly, same couple, two, three guys. Uh, haven't been out much lately. He says, uh, we thought you got lost. We haven't seen you in a while. So I guess it's cool. Um, weather's starting to break. Gonna try to get some more videos, keep it interesting. But as I said, I don't dedicate my entire life to foaming. I do enjoy uh, taking a nice lunch break, going to get some action and uh, keep it at that. So I think I've been clear about that before. I'm a foamer, but I do it more for uh, entertainment during times when i am not entertained by my other hobbies so uh this will never be a big foaming channel i will never be the most hardcore foamer i do not foam class ones um so i've uh got some other stuff coming up my sleeve too uh any of you guys from midwest know what i'm talking about keep going she's working hard nice long healthy cut and I believe this would be going up the grade. Not much, but there is a grade. I just noticed they got the blue flag out. I've never seen that up here before. It's hard to see, but it is right about there.
long, healthy cut. So shout out to Jawtooth, I love action, start the video, son. No, I just love him. And uh, shout out to Shoestring, Matt Mantell, all my other foaming homies. We got a, a rural slash urban dirt biker. Cleveland is known for this kind of crap. Put it up, put it up, put it up. Yeah. been mopped by them before they got like 40 or 50 atvs and bikes all swarming at the same time um looks like they're cutting off the train i'm only going to be about another five ten minutes tops uh, it's beautiful out today uh, this is the longest train i've ever seen on this line uh i know that they have the new transload customer there's some stuff going on at the end of the line i know they're ripping up beyond uh what is still in service so I'm assuming uh, any of those cars that are down over there near Harper Road are probably being used to bring the old ties and rails that are pulled up back up here and they'll ship them out Norfolk or Wheeling, whichever it may be. Uh, but this is the longest train I have ever seen up here. Uh, our friendly crew connoisseur up here, I don't want to give out his name for privacy reasons, but we're familiar with each other. Uh, he did say it is a very, very long train for this line. So, again, don't trespass. I'm right on the edge of the property. Crews are friendly, but that doesn't mean that you should interfere with them doing their job. They are uh, doing their job. So, uh, I'm going to get out of here in a few, maybe get one more shot. They're just switching and doing all that good stuff. So, um, But, again, like I said, don't expect much more than what you see now. I'll try and catch them at a few other spots. A couple of their local short lines I want to start catching too here and there, but it's more like a hobby for me on my lunch break. I will never go out of my way to do all this. So, so it turns out the, uh, I was mistaken, it was not a blue flag, it was a derail. Didn't catch it. They just removed it. They're going to back up. This will probably be the last clip that I'll get for the day, but when I rolled up, I saw a tanker truck parked with its amenities or whatever you want to call them out next to the string of hoppers up here uh, i asked our friendly crew connoisseur and he did say that they were doing some unloading and loading over here so uh they do have the new transload facility down in north randall or uh bedford whatever you'd want to call it but maybe they got a, another new customer and they're doing it up here too so if that's the case their car loads in the past 90 to 120 days have tremendously went up so again, like I said, I just uh, 
I'm the the train main, but I should just be called the, the lunchtime railroader. Just to be as clear as possible, I know I've said it a thousand times. I'm a foamer. I enjoy foaming, but only uh, interesting stuff such as short line switching, uh, rare, non-everyday type stuff. This railroad does run five days a week, but at the same time, it's a uh, you know local short line with very strange customers and all that stuff. So. So it's definitely nice being outside when it's warm. I can walk around freely. It's about 73 degrees today. Um, so just to be as a, woo, that's slack. Just to be as abundantly clear as possible. Uh, and then I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. You'll never see me class one. You'll never see me out and about on Saturdays or at six in the morning or doing crazy nonsense. I uh, love the short lines, I love the rare action, I love the off the beaten path, uh, often seen as neglected or abandoned lines, even though they're not light use, that kind of stuff, so um, I could say it seven different ways, but uh, this is more what I do, and again, I'm not going to dedicate any serious time or effort. I can leave my office on my 12 to 1, 1 to 2 lunch break, whatever I decide to go to lunch. Come catch a few clips of some interesting stuff. Chop together a little simple video, put it on my channel, and local people can enjoy it. People from far away can enjoy it, and uh, so be it. So, cheers to all the homies, Jawtooth, and you know all the other guys that, especially in Ohio. I'm uh, from Cleveland, so the Ohio stuff intrigues me more. But shout out to all the guys that are out there, you know, getting the even more rare stuff, dedicating their days and weeks of their lives to that. It's just not my thing, so. Uh, I say that because I haven't uploaded a video uh, with the layout or with rail fanning in, you know, several weeks when I was on a nice roll there to start the rail fanning, but I never intended to, you know, upload a video a day or three videos a week. If I can upload a video a week or, you know, I do a layout video a month, uh, if I can upload a layout video a month and a rail fan video every couple weeks, so two or three videos a month on the channel, I'll be happy. And, uh see how far we can go so i'm gonna head back now i'm hungry grab a quick bite and go back to work but uh first nice day of 2021 as far as rail fanning goes say bye to our crew friend connoisseur and uh the train main live action roll the video so catch y'all soon